A two-hour crime spree in Metro Detroit began with a robbery in Hazel Park and ended with police chasing a carjacked vehicle. 7 Action News reporter Brianne Palmerini tells us it all landed three people in the hospital and left the cab totaled. This is what's left of a cab after a carjacking suspect is accused of stealing it and then crashing it during a chase with police. And that cab driver just one victim on a long list during this crime spree. The beginning of this crime spree starts with a robbery. A man steals a woman's cell phone and cash at her home off Mahan in Hazel Park. There's a struggle over the phone and I believe she was pushed down by him and he left with the phone. Hazel Park Police Chief Brian Buhol says the man was an acquaintance of the woman and she called police. As the officer was taking the report at the house from her, we hear this carjacking uh, report come out not far away. That's where the cab driver comes in. Police say the cab picked up the same man accused of stealing the woman's phone. The suspect pulled out a knife and threatened the driver and uh, pushed him out of the car. That cab driver is still recovering in the hospital. And the company he works for, A1 Transportation, is a family-run business. The father-daughter duo was shocked and concerned for their man. It's different. It's the first time it's ever happened. I've been doing this for 34 years now, first time. Our safety of our drivers and the passengers are always our top priority. Right. And the fact that this happened has us all shaken up a little bit. The suspect reportedly then went back to the woman's home where he is accused of stealing the cell phone. And that's where officers caught up to him. But he wouldn't stop. Instead, he took them on a chase. Got on 696, then southbound 75, and then to I-94. Police say the suspect then exited, crashed the stolen cab into another vehicle, sending two more people to the hospital. Thankfully, police say those injuries are minor. Now police have the suspect in custody and he could face life in prison. He's definitely a very violent individual and uh, that's the reason uh, the officers did decide to uh, pursue him. Uh, we were worried for the safety of the victim and other people. A1 Transportation, again, is a family business, so the loss of this cab and the injury to their driver is a big hit for them. Now, that suspect is expected to be arraigned in court tomorrow. Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News. Brianne, thank you.